Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alam Sbah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University. Today I want to discuss with you some gynecology MCQ. So, choose the one best response. The first question, the uterus and the fallopian tubes develop embryologically from which of the following? Urogenital sinus, Wolfian ducts, Mullerian ducts, and or genital folds. Of course, all of us know that the uterus and the fallopian tube develop from the Mullerian ducts. This is the first one response answer. Okay. Next question: What is the correct order? of the four parts of the fallopian tubes from the ovary to the uterus from the side of the ovary to the side of the uterus okay a ambulla isthmus infundibulum and the interstitium b interstitium isthmus ambulla and the infundibulum c infundibulum ambulla isthmus and the interstitium D. Infundibulum, isthmus, ambulla, and interstitium. E. Interstitium, ambulla, isthmus, and infundibulum. Of course, we know that the sequence of the parts from the ovary to the uterus in the fallopian tubes is infundibulum, then the ampullary portion then the isthmus, which is the narrowest part, then the interstitial part inside the corneal uterus. Okay? So, this is the right answer. Number C. Next question, what is the most common cause of precocious people in girl? Gonadal tumors, idiopathic, or constitutional, Alpright syndrome, hypothyroidism. The idiopathic, or sorry, gonadal tumors, or idiopathic or constitutional, or Alpright syndrome, or hypothyroidism, or central nervous system tumor. Many of this can cause precocious puberty, but the right answer is idiopathic or constitutional because this is the most common cause of precocious puberty. Okay, let us go to the next. What is the mean age for menopause? 51 years, 40 years, 45 years, 55 years. The answer is or 42 years, what is the answer? The first one response here is 51 years. Is the mean age for menopause. So, next question, what is the most common site of endometriosis? The ovary? Posterior called the sac or Douglas Bosch, uterus sacral ligaments, uterine surface, or recto vaginal septum. Of course, the endometriosis is commoner in the ovary. This is the best one response. Next question What is the etiology? of external genital warts, herpes simplex virus, human babylon virus, baro virus B19, or hemophilus leukemia. As we look to these distractors, herpes simplex virus causing vesicles and ulcer, human babyloma virus causing genital warts, baro virus B19 infection causing fever, erysema, ulceralgia, hemophilus, the create 
Cousin Sean Croy. So, the most correct would be the human papilloma virus. Okay. Make the question. Which of the following is the most common cause of rectovaginal fistula? Crohn's disease, radiation to the bulbous, carcinoma of the rectum, hemorrhoidectomy, or obstetric trauma? The obstetric trauma is the most common cause of rectovaginal fistula. Yes. Next question, what is the most common pelvic mass associated with amenorrhea in a reproductive age woman? Follicular cyst, corpus luteum cyst, benign cystic teratoma, leomyoma, or pregnancy? Of course, we look to the reproductive age associated with amenorrhea, so the first possibility would be pregnancy. So correct answer is pregnancy what is the best management for 60 years old woman in whom endometrial hyperplasia with a tibia has been diagnosed chemotherapy or hysterectomy preceded by radiation or hysterectomy followed by chemotherapy or hysterectomy and bilateral serpentine effect course she she is 60 years she has a typical endometrial hyperplasia so she is high risk for carcinoma so the best line of treatment here is hysterectomy and bilateral salpendrio of course I'm not going to give her chemotherapy or radiotherapy because there is no proved malignancy there is just a precancerous lesion which is a typical individual hyperplasia. So, surgical treatment like hysterectomy and the bilateral salvage or would be enough. Yes, this is the right answer. Next the question What is the new plasma which is most sensitive to appropriate chemotherapy? Vaginal carcinoma gestational trophoblastic disease or cervical carcinoma or endometrial carcinoma or ovarian serous carcinoma. Of course, gestational trophoblastic disease is the most sensitive to chemotherapy. Next question, which of the following is the most common uterine nucleus? And we are talking here about all uterine nucleus, including post benign and malignant. Okay, be careful about this point. If we said in the question malignant uterine nucleus, this is different. Benign uterine nucleus, this is different. But when we say uterine nucleus, means all benign and malignant. Which of the following is the most common uterine nucleus? Sarcoma, adenocarcinoma. Adenosquamous carcinoma, choriocarcinoma, and leomyoma. Of course, the commonest here is leomyoma. We choose the leomyoma because, yes, it is the most common. Okay, but what if this question is talking about malignant uterine neoplasm? So, adenocarcinoma would be the commonest. Okay, but when we say just uterine nucleus, including all benign and malignant, so leomyoma, of course, is the common. So, look to this question. The majority of this from cervical carcinoma are due to which of the following? Pulmonary failure, secondary two metastasis to lung, or brain metastasis, cerebral hemorrhage or hemorrhage into the pelvis from erosion of the vessels or local spread obstructing ureters and causing renal failure 
or bone metastasis causing injury to central nervous system. As all of us know that the spread of cervical carcinoma in the broad ligament reaching the ureter, obstructing the ureter and causing renal failure is the commonest cause of death in case of cervical carcinoma. So the right answer will be D. Local spread, obstructing ureter, and causing renal failure. This is the last question. Thank you. I'm Dr. Alam Spah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura 